NATO and Turkey, a solid partnership dating back to 1952. But how has Turkey contributed to the alliance over the last 70 years? Here is a quick look. Turkey has the biggest army in NATO after the US. It has more soldiers than France, Germany and the UK. But what makes Turkey a unique asset for the world's biggest military alliance is its strategic geographical location. The Turkish Straits make the country an important ally for NATO to maintain the security of the Black Sea and Eastern Balkans. Bordering Syria and Iraq, Turkey is also the West Gateway to the Middle East. Turkey serves as NATO's southeastern flank and hosts several military bases. Konya Air Base has served NATO AVAX surveillance aircraft since the 1980s and it has played a vital role during NATO's operations against Daesh in Syria and Iraq. Talking about air defense, I have a fun fact to tell you. NATO's first female jet pilot was a Turkish woman. Leman Boskurt Altınçekic flew F-84s and T-33s from 1958 to 1967. Turkey also hosts the Kyrgyz radar station in the city of Malatya, which can shield NATO members against any possible ballistic missiles fired from the northeastern side of the alliance. Moreover, Injerlik Air Base in Adana protects member countries from possible nuclear attacks. Financially speaking, Turkey is among the 10 countries that reached the 2% defense budget target among the 28 members and it is contributing to NATO's budget more than many European countries, including Greece, Belgium, Poland, Norway and the Netherlands. During the 70-year partnership, Turkey contributed to NATO's missions in Bosnia-Herzegovina, Kosovo and Afghanistan. Today, it's fighting against terror groups like the PKK, Daesh and Al-Qaeda, while also controlling the refugee flow into Europe by hosting the highest number of refugees in the world. 